Brian Carty. Now Tiger Talk on KSMO. Welcome to Tiger Talk. Stan Stevens, Coach Brian Carty, Coach of Salem Tigers. We're to face the Kabul Bulldogs on Friday night, but Mother Nature had a different idea, didn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we got notified fairly late we weren't going to play. Um, and, you know, you can't you can't fix that. So you just reboot, move on to the next game, and hopefully we can get Kabul rescheduled uh, sometime in the near future. When, when you get – Kids get ready for a game. I know coaches do too. You psych yourself up. You you get yourself prepared. Uh, you, you know, as a coach, you prepare game plans and things of that nature, and you're ready for the game. The kids are throughout the school day. They get ready for the. Of course, with the, the current COVID situation, a lot of them aren't school on Friday, and so here here's here's the situation. You get ready to go, and all of a sudden, it's kind of a letdown when they call the game off, isn't it? Yeah, it was a letdown big time for us. I mean, we'd had a full week of practice. We were geared up, ready to go. Um, you know, it was first conference game. It was homecoming. You know, there was an emotional high there. Uh, and probably 1230 or so, I had kids. Right before that, Braden Carmack texted me at probably 10 o'clock. They started asking if we were going to get to play that night. And, you know, they, they were worried about it. They wanted to play. Yeah. And, you know, when we finally found that out and I told them we weren't going to play, they they were not happy. No, because, you know, you look so forward to playing the game, and then now, well, the best you can probably do is a little bit of practice and then practice on Saturday, and then you've got to wait all the way till Tuesday to play again. And then that's a whole week off, Coach, and that's something that, are, I mean, yeah, you need some practice time in there, but you also need that game time in there too. Yeah, we didn't even get to practice on Friday. Uh, the roads were too bad. Uh, admin said go home. So um, the kids had a couple days off, and then we came in and practiced and got ready for Fatima. You know, it's the same concept tonight. This tournament has changed four or five times, it feels like. Uh, our opponent uh, has only changed once. But still, every time that you get an email, oh, somebody else is quarantined, we got to make some adjustments. In the back of my mind as a coach, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, who else is in this tournament that I need to start having a backup plan for going into these practices right. to get ready for? So, yeah, it, it definitely is not an easy situation. And, and what Coach Carty's talking about is is that this went from the normal eight-team tournament in St. James. Rolla got quarantined first. St. James got quarantined. So now it's a pool play six-team tournament without the host team even in the game. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh <laughs> Even to further that discussion, Waynesville is currently quarantined until today. Oh. And so they're not even going to get to practice coming into this tournament. Uh, so I can't imagine being in that situation. But um, so, yeah, three of the teams, well, four if you count St. James's JV, right. four of the teams that were going to be in this tournament or are in this tournament uh, have been quarantined right now. Mm. And, and so, you know what that's like as a coach. Oh, it, it, it messes with everything. We got quarantined there at the beginning of the season, uh, and that just messes with your timing. You know, we had to basically uh, eliminate the first four games off of our schedule so that we could get enough practices into play. But you're still, um, you know, you're two weeks behind everybody else in right. development and creating those relationships with your teammates. All of that stuff happens in those first couple of weeks of the season. And especially right now, I mean, it, it's not as terrible as it would be if this would happen in February, is it? Oh, I don't know. I think it'd still be pretty terrible. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you're talking about being quarantined through the district tournament where it ends your season, yeah, that would be pretty terrible. Um, but like St. James been quarantined, this will be their, their third time. They'll be quarantined six weeks during basketball season. Wow. That, that's got to be rough. I can't imagine being in Ben shoes right now. No, that that would make it very difficult. Of course, when you're quarantined, you can't practice as a team. I mean, I, the kids can practice at home if they want to, but, you know, that's not still – there's no team unity like you talked about earlier. Hard to get team unity when the team is scattered all over the place. That's exactly right. I mean, we've been without Lucas Morrison for two weeks. He comes back today. We've been without him in practice for two weeks, and that makes it really difficult, uh, you know, to have a, a game plan going in. Uh, you know, he's been doing some running and, and shooting at home, uh, but that's not a substitute for an actual varsity practice. But it's hard to know exactly where, what level he's going to be at whenever he comes back tonight. Um, you know, so you've got a game plan for, for lots of scenarios there. 
It's uh, I, I'm, I'm talking with you know for the general people out there. Two weeks off for an athlete is not a vacation. That is not what you really want to do because you get bad habits, you get a little bit lazy, and then all of a sudden the, the pace has to pick right back up immediately and. Well, that's really tough to do. Even as a young a young person, uh, that's still pretty tough to do to get back in shape. It may take a game or two to actually get back in shape by missing two weeks, right? Uh, it only takes about four or five days for your level of conditioning to go down to the point where you can't play a full game. Right. Uh, and two weeks off is extremely detrimental. Uh, if you're not shooting a you know a couple hundred shots a day, your shot's not going to be as smooth. It's not going to feel it as uh, as easy whenever you pull up to shoot, all of that stuff, you'll be a step slow on everything. So it, it makes it very difficult to just come back and pick it back up, especially in a tournament as tough as this one. Exactly. So let's let's talk a little bit about this tournament, pool play now. So here's what has happened. Salem is now in a pool with Fatima and Waynesville. You will take on Fatima today and this is a very very talented Fatima team uh, we were talking earlier they got a lot of shooters it's a very creative team when it comes to offense and this is going to have to be a, a tough Salem Tiger team that plays defense against this these Fatima Commas they're good absolutely uh, they've got shooters all over the floor at any given time they can have five kids that can hit a shot so you got to get out and guard them um, you know, if we don't do a good job running them off the three-point line and we don't do a good job on help defense, um, it's going to be a long night. When you when you talk about Fatima, do you talk about their speed or do you talk about their talent, Coach? Both. Mm-hmm. They're, they're fast, they're athletic, and they're very talented. And they're very well coached, so that makes a huge difference. Um, these guys are going to play extremely hard. They're going to get after you. They're going to, they're going to press us. Um, maybe not the whole game, but they're going to press us some. And they're going to change it up and make it give us different looks. So our guys got to play both physically and mentally in the game at all times, uh, or it's going to be a tough night. And then you'll have to turn around, come back, play Waynesville tomorrow night, and which in, in the St. James tournament, very rarely did you have back-to-back games unless it was Friday, Saturday. But here you're in the early part of this tournament now, because of the round robin, uh, you got to come right back and play Waynesville. This is two very difficult teams to play in in pool play in a tournament, isn't it, Coach? Yeah, uh, Waynesville is extremely athletic. They return practically everybody from a team that was pretty dang good last year. Uh, they've been quarantined. You know, they're not. They don't play tonight, but the, you know, they're going to get one practice after coming off quarantine, and then they're going to play us. You know, hopefully we can catch them kind of rusty, like we were just talking about mm-hmm. coming back from a two week vacation for an athlete should be rusty. Hopefully we can catch them kind of rusty, and and uh, you know we can do what we're supposed to do and get a win against a, a, a very quality team. And, uh, um, you know, that would, that would help us a ton. But there's no easy team in this tournament. When you look at the pool play and you see Blair Oaks and Licking uh, in, the, in the other side, too, as, long, as well as Sullivan, this is six quality teams in this tournament, isn't there? That's, that's 100% true. There's a couple teams in it that don't have the greatest record. You know, Sullivan, I think, only has two wins, just like us. Um, but you can't count teams like that out just because, especially in this COVID year, because they played some really big schools. They played some tight ball games. They're, they're in the same situation we are. They just haven't got over the hump yet. Um, but they're very competitive in every game they play. And you just, you can't look at them and say, oh, that they've got two wins. That, that's an easy win. And nobody looks at us that way either because we're, we're better than our record indicates. We just, I've let some some close ball games slip, and especially when you look at the last two games, Coach. I mean, uh, tough losses, um, one overtime loss in there. But uh, boy, you you talk about uh, getting right to that edge. Just can't get over that hump yet. But we're right on the verge. That's exactly right. You know, one or two plays uh, goes our direction in those single digit games, and uh, you know we're we're like seven and three right now. But we have a tough opponent tonight with Fatima. Let's see what we can do against Commas tonight. Good luck, Coach. Thanks, sir. Stay tuned. Tiger basketball, it's next. Thank you, Stan. That has been Tiger Talk with Coach Brian Carty. Stay tuned. Salem Tiger basketball is next. Hear the best music every day. KSMO Salem.
Favorite thing about my street? It's quiet. Safe. The people. We rely on each other. And we rely on our Touchstone Energy Cooperative. The co-op isn't just about electricity. It's about power. The power of information. Efficiency. Safety. Technology. That's why whenever I have a question about energy, I always call my Touchstone Energy Cooperative first. Because in my community, I am the co-op. And the co-op is me. To learn more, visit touchstoneenergy.com. We are Missouri Electric Cooperatives. It's time now for Salem Tigers basketball on 1340 KSMO. Brought to you by K&H Auto Supply, Town & Country Bank, Salem Memorial District Hospital, Fairground Auto Plaza, Your World Today, City of Salem, The Bank of Salem, Common Grounds Bistro, Town & Country Insurance, Southwest Baptist University, Duncan Family Chiropractic, Country Mart, Napa Auto Parts in Salem, Conway Construction, Progressive Ozark Bank, Larson Collision Center, Tax Masters, Farm Bureau Insurance, and Piney River Ford. Now let's go courtside for all the action of Salem Tigers basketball on 1340 KSMO. And welcome to St. James for the St. James tournament this year. Looking a little bit different with COVID playing rampant problems with both Rolla and St. James. Both of those teams have dropped out of the tournament, so we now have a round-robin tournament. That will get underway today with the Salem Tigers taking on the Fatima Comets. And uh, this game will be the first of two tonight. There'll be two again tomorrow and then two again Thursday. Salem will play today and tomorrow. Today they take on the Fatima Comets. Salem coming in at 2-8. and eight. Fatima has one loss on the season as we get the game today. So uh, Fatima, a very deep team. They have a lot of players. They fill up the entire roster where the Salem Tigers uh, will have on their roster for this game just eight players so it'll be uh, it'll be a tough matchup for the tigers to go against the depth of the fatima comments here in this the first game of the night here at st james do want to tell you knh auto supplies your parts to the auto parts store 700 south main street don't forget they offer curbside service call them at 79 6667 that's knh auto supply family owned since 1981 Town & Country Bank, your locally owned community bank, dedicated to providing personal and business financial solutions. Get in touch with them at either 1009 East Sinegers Boulevard or 400 West Sinegers Boulevard, Town & Country Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. And don't forget about the Salem Memorial District Hospital, your critical access hospital serving Salem and surrounding areas. And don't forget, too, that the Salem Hospital has the family clinic you can go to. Either one for all your emergency needs or health needs. Don't forget they have a new MRI machine, the Salem Memorial District Hospital. Every patient, every encounter, every time. We're going to take a break and come back with game one of the St. James Tournament. After we get through the national anthem here, we're going to come back in 90 seconds. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Radio. Did you know there is someone at your local hospital who can help you manage and understand the challenges of today's health care decisions? I'm Lisa Delaney, Director of Social Services at Salem Memorial District Hospital. If you have questions about Medicare or Medicaid, rehabilitation services, long-term care placement, or advanced health care planning, call me at 573-729-6626 to discuss your needs. We are committed to every patient, every encounter, every time. We are Missouri Farm Bureau Insurance, and we're here for all of life's wins. Like when you get a new car, or a new boat, or a new driver, or when your son moves out, but your mom moves in, or you find out you're expecting, again, or when one rental property turns into two, then 20, or you realize they're all in Tornado Alley. Life is full of life events. Make sure you have the right policy for each of life's wins. A life event could qualify you for a discount. Call me, Willie Strader, your Missouri Farm Bureau Insurance agent, and we will make sure you have the coverage you need. Country Mart Pharmacy in Salem has three different types of flu shots. Flu Zone Quad is recommended for all ages. Flu Block Quad is recommended for 50 to 60 years of age. And Flu Zone High Dose is recommended for 65 years and over. There's no copay on Medicare and Medicaid, and some private insurance is accepted. The flu shots are administered by certified registered pharmacists. For more information about the flu shots, call Country Mart Pharmacy in Salem at 729-4091.
Welcome back to St. James. Stan Stevens along with you here at KSMO Radio. Don't forget, real value is more than a fair price. It's quality, service, experience, and convenience, and that's what you get at Napa Auto Parts right here at for East Sinegars Boulevard. You can call them at 729-4156, locally owned since 1946. At Fairground Auto Plans and Rollins giving you a fast and convenient way to find a car, a truck, van, SUV, whatever you might need. It's easy. Just go online to fairgroundgm.com. Fairground Auto Plans are driven to serve you best where Chevy does find new roads. At KSMO Radio, 1340, your hometown radio station, Salem Tigers, and the Fatima Comets coming up here in just a minute. They are getting up the starting lineups right now as we talk to you. And again, we mentioned this is now a round-robin tournament as they have had a COVID outbreak on both the Rollo Bulldogs and also the St. James Tiger. So neither of those teams will be participating in this game. Now, when Rollo fell out, the St. James JV came in, but when the St. James player came down with COVID, that eliminated both teams from the tournament. So it is right now a six-team tournament with Fatima, Blair Oaks, Licking, Sullivan, Waynesville, and, of course, the Salem Tigers. Garrett Connell will go up against Leo Peters. As we get ready to start this one out, the Tigers are starting. Josh Arts, Garrett Connell, Braden Carmack, Levi Smith, and Gunnar Conkle. And for Fatima, Leave Versluz, Nate Lehman, Cooper Kleffner, Nate Bryant, Leo Peters. A tip comes back to Gunnar Conkle. We're underway here at St. James. Thanks for joining us on KSMO and online at ksmoradio.com. Pass comes across to Connell, guarded there by Peters. Gives it off to Arts. Arts beyond the three-point line right between the circles now. Gives it to Gunnar Conkle. Conkle guarded there by Versluz. Gets between the circles again. Inside trying to go to Carmack. He does. Carmack off the glass. Missed it. It was too short. Brought down and controlled there by Bryant. That was an easy layup. Missed it. And coming back the other way and missing that was Versluz. As Garrett Connell came back and forced him to shoot quickly. And it was brought down by Gunnar Conkle back the other way. Transition very quickly for the Comets. Connell inside. It goes to Carmack. His jumper is too hard this time. Brought down and controlled underneath the basket by Lehman. Back the other way. All the way down is Kleffner. Kicks it outside. The three is up and splashes home by Versluz. Carmack trying to get by Versluz now. Gives it to Connell. As they have some pressure, now comes across to Carmack all the way down. Off the glass, it misses, brought down by Peters. That's two layups that Carmack has missed early in this game. Now the other way into the paint. Ball loose, stolen away by Carmack, and he gives it off to Conkle. First turnover of the game belongs to the Comet. 3-0, Fatima. Smith with it. Levi right at the top of the key. Bounce pass to Connell. Connell hanging on to it, gives it back to Conkle. Pretty slow pace right now for the Salem Tigers. They're trying to find some opening here. Ball hits Carmack, but he gets it back, kind of bounced off his hands, trying to feed it in, and it's knocked out of bounds by Leo Peters. Adam in their white jerseys. They have the gold and blue trim on the armpits all the way down the side to the hip. Salem Tigers in their navy blue uniforms with the Carolina blue piping and numbers. Inbound. Comes back to Carmack. Salem refuses to go backcourt to get an inbound. Now Smith in the corner for a three. It's off the edge of the rim. Brought down the backside by Lehman. Lehman over the timeline. Fires it all the way across for Brandt. Brandt in the corner for Sluz. For Sluz hooks it out to the right side to Lehman. Lehman inside of 10 to Peters. Outside for another three. And it splashes home again by Lee Versluz. Tigers trying to make, break a little bit of a press here by Fatima, but not very hard. Two and a half minutes gone in this one. Six nothing. Fatima, and then Connell throws it over the head of Smith. And the first turnover by the Salem Tigers. That's right at the scorer's table. Coach Robertson. Allowing the Comets to basically play about the speed that Salem is showing. It's not been very quick here tonight so far. Brandt has it. Out on top it goes to Kleffner. They go underneath. Kicking it down there is Brandt. 
And they try and fire it across. The ball stolen away, though, as was tipped. And the Tigers come up with their second steal as Conkle brings it down. Conkle into the offensive zone, now to Smith. Trying to get into Morrison. Can't, goes back out on top to Connell. Back to Smith. Inside to Morrison. Ball stripped away, but stepping out of bounds was Nate Lehman. He got his paw on it, knocked it down, but couldn't stay in bounds. So Salem will have the ball on the baseline. Inbound comes in the corner to Connell. Connell throws it back, almost goes back court, but Morrison chases it down and goes right through the hands of Carmack. He wasn't looking into the hands of Fatima. They lay it up and in easy as Brandt takes the pass and scores after the easy turnover by the Tigers. Here's Smith with it. Smith giving it off to Connell. Long pass down for Conkle. Outside to Smith. Smith into the paint. Almost lost it. Now does lose it as it's stolen away from by him from Versalus. Quickly down the other way. Laying it up and in is Nate Brandt. He's got four. Made a, and the Tigers trail by 10-0. Here's Carmack. Loses it again. Another steal by Versalus. And it goes out of bounds right through Versalus' hands. A turnover. He passed it across to Peters. Back to Versalus. And the ball went out of bounds. Salem with three turnovers in this game. All three have been steals. I'm sorry, four turnovers in this game. One throwaway. Connell will get into Carmack. 10 nothing with 4.05 to go in the first quarter as Smith gets it back to Carmack. Brayden has missed a couple of layups already in this game. Here's Conkle. Out high, guarded there by Peters. And now a push-off. A big call against the Salem Tigers. That first foul of the game. I think it's on Morrison. Nope, going to be on Carmack. And so the turnover, number five for Salem, gives the ball back to Fatima. So they'll walk it across the timeline. Out on top now to Jack Robertson, who just checked in the game. Now to Peters at the baseline. Kicks it outside. Brandt for a three. It's off the iron. Straight up in the air. Peters brings it down. His second rebound. Trying to feed it inside. Stolen away by Conkle. Here's Carmack all the way down off the glass. That one is good. Tigers with their third steal. Now the other way. Here's Fatima. Here's Peters in the high post. His jumper. Nothing but net. Leo Peters makes it 12-2 to two with 3-10 to go in the first quarter. Connell over to Smith, back to Connell. Three men in the forecourt, getting it back to Smith, and Smith will come over the timeline and get fouled there by number 32, Nate Brandt. First foul on Fatima. 3.03 to go in the first quarter. Connell trying to get in, hard to right in to the, the Fatima player, Luke Boyce, who just checked in the ball game, but he stepped out of bounds trying to bank it off of Connell. So no turnover there. Conkle will have it again. Fires it out high to Carmack. Carmack back to Conkle. Down low to Connell. Connell from about seven dips it back outside to Carmack. Now to Smith. Smith double team. Bounce passed into Morrison. Morrison to the hope. Lays it up. Misses. Comes out to Connell. Connell hands it right then to Versluz. Good play by Connell. He turned around and handed it right to Versluz. Now another three. This one is short. Brought down by Connell. His second rebound. And off to Carmack with 2.30 to go. 12-2. Bat him up. Salem has not been very accurate with their shooting and have been very inconsistent with their passes. Here's Carmack. That drive in. Kicks it back to Smith. Had to reach for it. Now gets it back, double team, goes across to Connell. Now to Carmack, from nine to jumper, no good. Comes out into the hands of Boyce. Boyce the other way to Versalus. Versalus all the way down, walks with it, but no call. Missed the shot, and Connell brings down yet another rebound. No call on the walk by Versalus, but he missed the shot, and it banks off the backboard right into the hands of Connell. Now here's Smith in the corner. Smith out to Carmack. To Connell right at the top of the key. Back to Carmack. Open for a three. Instead of trying to go down to Morrison. His pass was too high. And it's stolen away by 
Fatima quickly down the other way. An easy basket for Leo Peters. And Coach Cardi will burn a timeout. With 39 seconds to go first quarter, it's Fatima 14, Salem 2. Back in 30 seconds, this is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Radio. In a world where everything is digital, your payments should be too. Time is precious. Digital payments provide a quick and simple way to make secure purchases. The Bank of Salem recognizes the need for digital payment convenience and is excited for you to enjoy a new way to pay. We now support Apple Pay, Google Pay, Fitbit, Garmin, and MasterPass. To enroll, call or stop by either Bank of Salem location today and let us help make your shopping experience easier. Message and data rates may apply. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Don't forget, the City of Salem reminds you to enjoy your city parks when the opportunity arises. You've got a number of city parks. You've got the City Park of Salem, and you've got the Al Brown Fields, the Roadside Park, and Midget Park, and so many more. Salem City Parks, part of the City of Salem Recreation Department, and they hope you enjoy it. Back to play. Here's Smith in the offensive zone. Now to Simpson, who just checked in the game. He waits, banks it in, count the bucket, and draws the foul. Ethan Smith comes in. Uh, Simpson comes in and gets the foul on a good pass from Smith. And Nick Lehman, uh, Nate Lehman, excuse me, will pick up the foul. And Smith will, I'm uh, sorry, uh, Simpson will go to the line to shoot the first free throw of the game. Minute 25 to go, first quarter, 14 4 our score. And the free throw, it is no good. And captured there by Peters. And then a foul called, I believe, on Morrison. A team foul on Salem, two on Fatima. Salem and a half court defense as the inbound comes to Cooper Kleffner. Kleffner. All ball pass across to Versluz. Versluz on the baseline comes down, lofts it up, misses the shot. Take there by Peters. His putback is good. He's got six, and the Fatima lead is 12. Carmack off to Smith. Smith up the middle of the floor, now over to Easton May. Back to Smith. Bounce pass to Carmack. Carmack down to Simpson. Simpson in the left corner. Guarded there by Peters. Out on top to Levi Smith. Levi trying to get away from Brandt. Bounce pass across to Easton May. May looking for help out to Simpson. Simpson between the circles. 40 seconds to go. His pass tipped and is stolen away by Versluz and a foul on Simpson after the turnover. Six steal. Tigers again with only eight players. On their varsity squad here, they have a JV tournament they're also involved with. So very limited squad here for the St. James tournament. Brandt has it across to Clefter, back to Brandt. They play catch out near center court with 25 seconds to go. Clefter now d- dumps it down to Peters. Peters out to Sluz. He's guarded there by East of May on near center court for Sluz to Clefter. Again, 14 seconds left. Adam is setting up for the last shot. Simpson right there with Clefter, giving it to Brandt. They Brandt back to Clefter, down to Peters. Peters kicks it outside of Versalud for another three, and it is off the front of the rim. No good. Put back up and in at a buzzer on a rebound by Nate Brandt. A heck of a play by Brandt, a fadeaway falling jump shot, and it goes down, and Fatima at the end of one quarter of play leads Salem. 18 to 4. We'll come back and this is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media. I'm one to do concrete work, foundation, flat work, or have some small excavation work done. Give Jay Conway Concrete and Excavation LLC a call at 247 4174. Plus, Jake also has a mini excavator and a skid steer. If you need more information, please call Jake Conway Construction and Excavation LLC at 247 4174. The Napa New Year sale is going on right now, and you'll find peak full-strength concentrate universal antifreeze and coolant for $11.49 a gallon. Peak 50-50 pre-diluted universal antifreeze and coolant for $9.49 a gallon, and light-up LED booster cables priced at only $17.99. Stop by Napa Auto Parts Store at 604 East Scenic Rivers Boulevard in Salem and check out all the Napa New Year sale has to offer. 
Don't forget, Progressive Ozar Bank is a community-focused financial organization that serves Salem, Licking, Houston, Hartville, and Mountain Grove. For more information, call them here in Salem at 729-4146 or drop by 904 West Scenic Rose Boulevard. Progressive Ozar Bank member FDIC, and they are an equal housing lender. With the ball, that's fed them on the inbound. With it is Clefter. They get it down low to Peters. Peters in the paint, spins, turns. Trying to get away from Connell, trying to bank it in. It won't go. Put back up and on the rebound, no good. One more rebound underneath the Peters. He scores. Two rebounds by Nate Brandt. And it's 20 to four. Here's Carmack. Stops, almost walks with it. Now to Connell, that ball tip stolen away again by Fatima. Here they come the other way in the corner versus Luz. Underneath the Peters, short jumper's good. Leo has 10, 20 to four our score. Carmack in the middle to Easton May. Back to Connell, back to Carmack. Carmack in the offensive zone, trying to drive to the paint to the hole, scoops it up. No good, put back up by Arts, it won't fall. And it's captured underneath the basket by Fatima. Coming the other way is Lehman. Lehman kicks it outside to versus Luz. For Sluice to the paint, down low to Peters. Peters stops, kicks it outside, jump shot no good, and brought down by Connell. As Lehman took that shot, didn't fall. May, now to Connell, off to Braden Carmack as the Tigers try and uh, rebound from that. Underneath the east of May, all alone, and he lays it in. 22-6 our score with six and a half to go in the half. Here's Kleffner. Clevner beyond three, right on top to Peters to Versluz. Versluz to the paint, to the hole, scoops it up, throws a rock off the backboard, captured there by Arts. Gives it to Connell. Versluz hitting a couple of threes here, but, man, his layups and the short shots have been like iron. Here's May trying to kick it back to Connell and does. Guarded there by Versluz. Garrett has the ball stolen away by Versluz. He comes down, he'll lay it up and gets this one to go. Lee Versluz just timed it. Perfectly, and steals it away. Eighth steal for Fatima in this first half. 24 to six, our score. May, beyond three, guarded there by Peters. Right side pass for Simpson, tipped by Versluz, almost stolen there. Couldn't get it under control. The ball goes out of bounds. Very limited fans here at St. James. 24 to 6, our score. Matter of fact, they will keep the doors closed for the second game until 6:40. So if you're coming to the game tomorrow night, which is a 7 o'clock game, you cannot get in until 6:40. Shot for three from the far side by Connell, misses, and Layman takes it down. Long pass underneath the first Slews, kicks it back outside, all the way to the basket, up and in is Jack Robertson. Layman now with five rebounds in this game. 26 to 6, our score. Fatima. With a big lead. Pass goes outside to May. May trying to get inside to Arts. That's not going to make it inside. Stolen away. And back comes Fatima. Here's Peters. The shot blocked there by Connell. And it comes into the hands of Conkle with five minutes and eight seconds to go here in the first half. It's been all Fatima, 26 to 6. Pass inside, stolen away. And back they come the other way now. He all the way down and banking that up and in is Nate Brandt. He's got eight. 22-point lead for Fatima here in the first half. Conkle with it. Conkle inside to Arts. Outside Carmack shakes, shakes a three, and it's nowhere near. Comes down in the hands of Versluz. Versluz down to the paint, into the paint. Stops, lost it, as thrown away by Easton May. May all the way down against Kleffner, lays it up and in. That is the fifth turnover for Fatima, but their first in quite some time. Long pass. And the, trying to lay it up, but it would not go, was Brandt. And brought down by Connell. Connell now with his fifth rebound. Off to Gunnar Conkle. Conkle trying to force a pass inside. Ball still loose on the floor. Tied up, and Fatima will come away with the ball on the turnover by the Salem Tigers. Salem trying to throw some needle passes, like through the eye of a needle. They're just not getting it through. And a timeout called by Coach Robertson of Fatima. 28-8, our score. Back in 30 seconds. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media. 
Do you need service or parts for your vehicle? Fairground Auto Plaza in Rolla has GM trained technicians to work on your vehicle, and they also carry high-quality GM parts. Fairground Auto Plaza has a state-of-the-art service department featuring the latest in diagnostic equipment and highly trained technicians that can keep your vehicle running the way it should. Fairground Auto Plaza is ready to take care of your car, truck, or SUV. No matter what type of service your vehicle needs, stop by Fairground Auto Plaza in Rolla today where Chevy finds new roads. Hey, don't forget to see Town & Country Insurance Associates for all your commercial, personal, life, and health insurance needs. For a quote, get in touch with them at 729-6624. That's 729-6624, Town & Country Insurance. Pass on the right side to Fatima as they've got the ball. As Carter Karst got that one. They kick it outside to Carter. Carter, beyond three, trying to go inside, loses the ball to Carmack. Tigers the other way with their fifth start. This first half as Carmack has it down to Morrison. Morrison turns, spins to the paint, to the hole, lays it in. Lucas at his first basket after being quarantined. He's back in the lineup. Now to pass across to Karst again. Karst on that baseline, going down, lost the ball, and hits a referee right in the head. It's Connell knocked it out of Karst's hand. It'll stay with Fatima. Jack Robertson to inbound it. This looks like the young squad out here. Gets it inside to Robertson. Levi's jumper off the glass is good. He's just a freshman. He's 6'4". He's about as long and lean as you can get. And with 3.25 to go, 30-10 to 10 our score with Fatima on top. Carmack in the corner. Conkle back to Carmack as the Tigers trying to find an opening. Now Conkle from 10 to jumper. It's good. Gunner Conkle, 30-12 to 12 our score. As Robertson will bring it up. This is Jack Robertson. There's Levi and Coaches Robertson. Imagine that. Outside it goes. A long three. It's up and off the rim. No good. Tip. Brought down underneath there by Hewn Meyer. Ball stolen away, though, by the Salem Tigers. As Dawson Hewn Meyer came away with it. But another steal for the Salem Tigers. Carmack with it on the right wing. Out across to Connell at the top of the key. Left side pass to Smith. Smith goes to Gunkle in the left corner, trying to get into Morrison. Morrison gets it off the glass. It won't go. He got his own rebound and scores. 30-14. to 14. The other way, Jack Robertson. Left side pass to Hewn Meyer. Going on the baseline, taking the ball there is Boyce. Goes back outside, getting it there. Robertson, Jack Robertson back to Boyce. Boyce on the baseline. Kicks it out to Hewn Meyer. Inside it goes. Jumper off the glass. And in by Levi Robinson. And a foul called on Salem. And it's going to be on Lucas Morrison, his second. 32 to 14, our score. And some of the first teamers are coming back in. Been all, all Fatima here. Stay on. An 18 to 4 lead at the end of one. It's 32 14 now. Next free throw is good. I should say his first free throw is good. First free throw for Fatima in the game. 33 14 with two, five seconds to go in the half. The pass to Smith. Levi in the corner for Conkle. Couldn't handle, I should say for Connell. Couldn't handle the pass. Turnover number 14 for the Salem Tigers in his first half. That's about. 12, too many. With a ball, Kleffner going inside. Short jumper by Robertson. That's good. Levi has seven in the second quarter, and the lead is out to 21. Here's Carmack for Salem, trying to go between three players. Couldn't do it. Ball goes off of her slew's foot and out of bounds. It stays with Salem. Carmack will check out as Easton May comes in. Gunner Conkle. Inbounds it all the way across to May. Easton all the way down. Lays it up. Scoops it in. May with six. 35-16. Here's Kleffner. A long three. It's perfect. Cooper Kleffner from NBA range. Hits a long three. And it's 38-16. Levi Smith for Salem. Trying to get away from Kleffner. Hanging on to the ball. Looking for help. And gave it over to... Garrett Connell out on top to Conkle. Back to May. 
Bain looking for some help. Now to Smith. Smith juggles it. Ball loose near center court. Gets away from Kleffner. Now to May. May stops. Trying to get it back. Stolen away again by Fatima. Long pass. Can they keep it in bounds? No, they cannot. They throw the ball away as Nate Brandt had to chase it down the corner and stepped out of bounds. So with 57 seconds to go, they don't get the ball right back after the eighth turnover by the Comets. Conkle in the corner, Smith. Levi all the way down underneath the basket, loose and stepping out of bounds. With it, I think, is Easton May. Yep, that's what they're going to call. There was three bodies down there. Couldn't tell you who had it when they stepped out of bounds. So the inbound will come to Kleffner. Cooper. Fires it inside, getting it there's Robinson underneath. They kick it outside to Versluis for a long three. Off the rim, no good. Knocked out of bounds, though, by Levi Robinson, the freshman, who has seven points in this second quarter. He checks out as Leo Peters comes back in. Peters has been a force inside at 6'4". He's just a junior, wears number zero. Comments with some pressure on the Salem Tigers. Ball tipped. Brought down by Peters outside to Versluis on the baseline. Kicking it right side to Brandt for a three. It's good. Brandt hits the three, and he now has 11 in this game, 41 to 16. Here's Conkle on the baseline. Out to Smith. Smith couldn't get the shot off. Trying to find an opening right on the baseline. Goes off the fingertips of Easton May. And the Tigers turn the ball over for the 16th time in this, the first half they're down by 25 points here's Kleffner getting it over to Brandt Brandt to Versluis stolen nicely by Easton May May all the way down with a little scoop and the buzzer won't go and that is one half of play as Fatima comes out and they have played a very very good game they outscored the Salem Tigers 23 to 12 in that second quarter and they lead at the end of one half by a score of 41 Two sixteen. We'll come back in three minutes with stats in the first half. This is Tiger Basketball, and it's on KSMO Media. Open a checking account at Progressive Ozark Bank today. It's quick and easy, and you'll receive a free gift, too. Debit cards are issued instantly with no waiting or delays in accessing your money. Receive cash back for enrolling in electronic statements while enjoying our free electronic banking options, such as mobile deposit, bill pay, and mobile banking. Utilize our open online for 24-7 new account convenience. Or come by Progressive Ozark Bank at 904 West Scenic Rivers Boulevard in Salem. Progressive of Ozark Bank, FDIC insured, and equal housing lender. Piney River Ford would like to help you get into your next new or used car, truck, or SUV. Bad credit, no credit, need a vehicle? Piney River Ford is working with a new lender to help you get your next vehicle. Piney River Ford and our friends from Credit Acceptance understand things happen and everyone deserves a second chance. If you have an income and some money down, we can get you financed. At Piney River Ford, we just ask for a chance to earn your business. 1100 South Sam Houston Boulevard in Houston, Missouri. Or call 417 417- 967 4134 of town and want to know what's going on in Salem, how the Salem Tigers did, or who may have passed away, there's only one way to get that information quickly, and that's by going to Your World Today online. Go to KSMORadio.com and click on the Your World Today button and you'll get the latest edition online, or check out the Your World Today archives. And if you are in town, pick one up in any of the 30 plus locations in Salem and Bunker. Your World Today, they're free! Find do it right deals at KH Auto Supply like a performance tool three pound sledgehammer for $12.99, Prestone Universal Premix Antifreeze and Coolant for $11.99, and the Ultra Steel 22 piece wrench set for $24.99. KH Auto Supply, your Park City Auto Parts store here in Salem. Park City, yeah, Park City, Park City. This is Mike Elliott with Town & Country Insurance. We represent many different insurance companies which allow us to offer you competitive rates by having access to more companies. We find that we're able to find more value for you this way. Town & Country Insurance has been serving the surrounding area for over 50 years. Stop by and see Laura St. John 
Daniel Kisser, Sarah Edwards, or myself at 400 West Scenic Rivers Boulevard, located inside the Town & Country Bank, or you can call our office at 729-6624. We also have offices in Rolla and Licking to serve you. There's a lot to do at the newly renovated Salem City Park. Headlining the activities is the totally rejuvenated Alice Lou Craig Municipal Pool that offers visitors and residents of all ages a full day of fun. The park also includes a brand new splash pad adjacent to Billy's Playground, Salem's new all-accessible playground where children with different abilities can play together. The park has numerous ball fields as well as pavilions that are available to rent for private outings. For more information about the Salem City Park, visit the Salem Park and Recreation Facebook page online. We are at halftime, 41-16. Fatima on top of the Salem Tigers in this round-robin tournament. Salem will be back in action tomorrow night at 7 when they take on Waynesville. And then they'll find out who they play either Friday at 4.30 or Friday at 6.15 or Friday at 8 o'clock. That's when the consolation game, third place game, and championship game will be held. We'll be back tomorrow night here at KSMO Radio to bring you the Waynesville and Salem Tiger game. And that will be again at 7 o'clock, 6.45 with Tiger Talk and Coach Brian Carty. Salem Tigers and Fatima. Fatima got off to a quick start, led 10 to nothing before the Tigers got on the board. Leo Peters leading the way with 10 points. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Nate Brandt leading the way with 11 points. Leo Peters has 10. 8 for Lee versus uh, Slews and 7 for Levi Robinson. 3 for Cooper Clefter and a couple for Jack Robertson uh, for the Fatima Comets for the Salem Tigers. Easton May leading the way with six. Four for Lucas Morrison. And then uh, two points for Gunnar Conkle and Ethan Simpson and Braden Carmack. Leading rebounder for the Tigers, Garrett Connell with six. Two for Jack Hartz. One for Gunnar Conkle. One for Morrison. Uh, leading rebounder for Fatima. That is Nate Lehman with five. Nate Brandt has four. Four for Leo Peters. One each for Dawson Hune Meyer and Luke Boyce and one for Lever Slews as well. Salem Tigers had 16 turnovers in that first half. There were eight for Fatima. Fatima had 11 steals. Tigers had seven. No real foul trouble. Lucas Morrison has two. Nobody else has two uh, for either team. So we played a half. Been a fairly slow pace, actually, uh, to this game. And then when Fatima does pressure a little bit, then they can transition quickly. So... Tigers have had their problems when they turn the ball over. Adam just takes advantage of it, and then they kind of force Tigers, and then they slow it down. Larson Collision Center has been in Salem, serving the area over 30 years. They have free estimates, and the work is guaranteed. Contact Gary at 729 or stop by 503 North MacArthur, Larson Collision Center. And don't forget about your taxes. Tax masters can help you get prepared for the upcoming tax year. They have over 40 years of Let's call them at 729-3001 or stop by 510 North Main Street. And the Common Grounds Bistro has excellent breakfast and lunch. If you haven't tried it out yet, do so at 300B South Main Street. Outstanding food and great service. See your friends at Common Grounds Bistro, a proud supporter of your Salem Tigers. Scout orders, call 729-2912. Conway Construction can bring you, build your brand new home. Talk to Randy whether you need a new room or just a new uh, maybe metal roof. Maybe you're looking for some... Uh, Steer work or skid steer work or dump trucking. They can do all that. Call Randy, 246-6468, Conway Construction, LLC. We're at halftime, 41-16. We'll come back in two minutes with the second half when we return. This is Tiger Sports on KSMO Media. Have you hit or been hit by a deer need to have your vehicle fixed? Well, the only place you'll want to take your vehicle is to Larson Collision Center at 503 North MacArthur in Salem, where right now they're offering 20% off your deductible if you've had an accident with a deer. Larson Collision Center offers free estimates and all their work is guaranteed. Stop by and let Larson Collision Center help get your vehicle repaired and looking new again. Call 729-3915 for more information. Larson Collision Center. What are your plans for the future? Do you need a boost to generate a new plan or can't afford to go away to college? Or your work schedule won't allow you to go? Let Southwest Baptist University, Salem campus, be the boost. SBU is committed to flexibility, expertise, and the state-of-art technology. We now offer two new associate's degrees in teaching and Christian ministries, along with master's degrees in education and business. For more information, please contact admissions counselor Chris Welch to schedule an appointment as a prospective or returning student. You may call 573-729-7071. 
SBU Salem Campus is your higher education with Christian principles. At American Family Insurance, we know your life has many moving parts, from your four wheels to your hard-earned home and the financial future of your family. We'll cover the things that matter most. Bundle your home and auto policies for possible savings and add life insurance for convenient, future-focused protection so you can keep dreaming towards what's next. This is Calvin Malone, American Family Agent in Salem, Missouri. For more details, call 729-5165 or stop by 1104A South Main Street in Salem today. Is your back continually giving you pain? Do you constantly have headaches? Do you have numbness or tingling in your arms, hands, legs, or feet? These are symptoms, and they're a warning sign from your body. And if you'd like to know why they're occurring, Dr. Amber Duncan of Duncan Chiropractic can help. Her mission is to find the cause of the problem and correct it. Give Dr. Amber Duncan a call at 729-2321 or stop by 401 East Scenic Rivers Boulevard in Salem. Don't forget to call Calvin Malone at American Family Insurance at 729-5165 or stop by 1104A South Main Street and let him help you with your insurance needs. That's American Family Insurance. And Duncan Family Chiropractic at 401 West Sinegris Boulevard can handle all your chiropractic needs. And ask Dr. Amber about Juice Plus. Dr. Amber Duncan, Duncan Family Chiropractic, 729-2321, a proud supporter of your Salem Tigers. We are at halftime, 41 to 16. Both teams now back on the field, warming up. Just about ready to get things underway. Jay Conway Concrete and Excavation LLC can do foundation and flat work. Jake has a mini excavator and skid steer. Give Jay Conway a call today at 247-4174. Jay Conway Con- Concrete and Excavation LLC, a proud supporter of your Salem Tigers. Don't forget, Missouri Tiger basketball will be on the backside of this game. They'll be taking on South Carolina. We'll join that game probably just after it gets underway. So he'll be able to join us for that one. In the meantime, we're about ready to start the second half. It will be Salem on the inbound, down by 25 points to start this third quarter. Adama has just taken advantage of a lot of different turnovers here and missed Salem shots. Conkle out on top to Carmack. Salem been awful weak now. Inside it goes, and a first turnover of this second half as they quickly get down to Versluz. Out on top to Kleffner. Back to Versluz. Open for a three. Takes it. It pinballs out. No good. Taken down by Lehman. He puts it back up and in. 43-16. Here's Carmack with it. Carmack, double team, fires it across to Smith. Smith to Conkle. Conkle. Out on top. Fires in the corner to Smith. Smith. All the way across the floor to Connell. Connell to Carmack. All the way in. Flips it up. No good. Taken there by Peters and back the other way. Quickly versus Slews. All the way down. Lays it up. It's good. All set on the rim for a minute. Falls through. 45 to 16, our score. Just underway here, and this is the third quarter. Carmack. Has it stolen away by Connell. Connell lays it up. It trickles in. Nice steal by Connell there to get the Tigers their first points of this, the second half. 45 18. Driving all the way down, missing that shot. Was Kleffner, but he was fouled in route, which might be a good reason why. Gunnar Conkle will get the foul. Cooper Kleffner to inbound it. Adam lines up in a picket fence, then they'll separate. Inbound comes out to Versluz. In the corner, Kleffner. Kleffner. Sitting out to side, it goes to Peters. Peters driving all the way down. Pass underneath, intended for Lehman. And the ball goes off him out of bounds, but a foul called on the Salem Tigers on Josh Hartz. The ball stays with Fatima. Here's Kleffner. Outside it goes to Brant. Brant's three, no good. Brought down by Carmack on the outside. 
Carmack into the paint to Smith. Now down to Connell. Turns me. Takes it outside to Ethan Simpson for the jumper. It's good. Simpson hits it from 10. It's 45 to 20. The 25 point lead for the Comets. Right now with it, Peters. Outside to Versluz. Versluz giving it off there to Brandt. Now to Kleffner. To Brandt. To Kleffner for a three. It is good. 48-20, our score, five and a half to go. Carmack with it for the blue-clad Salem Tigers. To Smith for three, it's no good. And on the backside goes off of Simpson out of bounds. Morrison back in the game as Arch checks out. Salem and a half court defense. As Cooper Kleffner will walk it up to the timeline with 5.15 to go, third quarter. Now Versluz on wide open three. He buries it. Nobody even made a move toward him. It's 51 to 20 with 5.07 to go in the third. Carmack trying to get inside. Can't now to Connell inside to Morrison. Morrison turns, spins, bounce pass to Simpson. He lays it in. Ethan now at six. Down the other way, Kleffner. Kleffner for the Comets. Flips it across to first lose inside to Peters. Back to Kleffner. Another three-pointer, and this one is good. Well, you got a lot of shooters here on the Comets, and they're just opening this one up. They lead it by 32 here. Right now with it is Carmack to Simpson. Simpson trying to dance his way in. Takes it all the way down, but a shot won't go. Brought under control by... Brandt, Brandt the other way, down, flips it to Versluz. Versluz on the baseline, fires underneath all alone, but missing the layup was Lehman. Comes outside to Kleffner as Lehman tipped it back to him. Back to Lehman, to Kleffner, now to Lehman all the way down. To Versluz for another three-pointer. It's off the rim, no good. Taken down by Peters. Peters kicks it outside to Kleffner for a three. It's no good. Brought down by Versailles out to Peters. He scores as... Lehman brought down yet his eighth rebound of the game. And it's a 34-point lead, and Coach Cardi will burn a 30-second timeout. 3.49 to go in the third quarter, 56-22. Fatima back in 30 seconds. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media. Tax season is still a while away, but it's never too early to start tax planning and tax consultation. Let Jackie or Beth at Taxmasters help you start preparing for the upcoming tax year. They also have over 30 years of accounting and payroll experience. Stop by and see Jackie and Beth at Taxmasters today, located at 510 North Main Street in Salem, or call 729-3001. You know, again, Southwest Baptist University campus in Salem provides higher education close to home. To make an appointment, to visit with Chris Welch, call 729-7071. And over at Country Mart at 1204 East Sinegers Boulevard. He's a proud supporter of your Salem Tigers. Check them out online at tcmarkets.com and on Facebook, Country Mart in Salem. Call for their daily special, 729-3455. Braden Carmack kicks it outside. The Smith for a three. It's no good and taken under control by Brandt. Brandt the other way, all the way down, quickly to Versluz. Versluz backs it up beyond the three-point line, all the way across to Brandt. In the corner, trying to work his way in as Lehman, but throws it in the hands of Carmack. Carmack to Simpson. Simpson lost it, got it back, and a foul's going to be called underneath. Tigers with their second steal. Foul's going to be on Nate Lehman. Just the first on Fatima in the second half. Smith to inbound it. Does to Connell. Outside to Simpson. Now to Carmack. Braden's struggling in this game tonight. Just couldn't feel that one cleanly. Guarded there by Kleffner. Now to Morrison. Outside intended for Smith. Versluz tipped it away. And it will still belong to the Salem Tigers. Don't forget Willie Strader of Farm Bureau Insurance, a proud supporter of your Salem Tigers for your farm, ranch, home, or business insurance. Call Willie, 729-4941. Connell double-teamed in the corner, trying to get away, does. Lost it. Ball loose on the floor, stolen there 
by Fatima. Quickly down the other way to Versluz, and he lays it in. That transition was immediate, right from the floor. One pass down, and Versluz laid it home. Very quick, quick on their feet. Simpson for a three off the front of the rim, brought down by Peters. Peters now with seven rebounds, getting it to Kleffner. Kleffner, top of the key, kicks it right side open for a three is Brandt. It's good. Nate Brandt, 61 to 22. As Carmack fires it outside to Smith. He wants the three. It's no good. Taken there by Versluz on the back side. Quickly the other way to Brandt, all the way down. And a, a foul, blocking foul. Ooh, I thought it would be a charge, but a blocking foul called on Connell as Nate Brandt went right over top of him, but he went over top of him sideways. So and they called a foul on Connell, his first. Smith and Connell will check out with 2.10 to go. 39-point lead by the Comets outside to Versluz. Versluz puts up a short two. It won't go, and Morrison brings down that rebound. He gives it off to Brayden Carmack. Carmack trying to get by three men, gives it off to Morrison instead, who comes down. His shot won't go. Knocked out of bounds, and they'll say it belongs to who? Salem Tigers. 154 to go. This is the third quarter. Then we get the Bank of Salem, a locally owned community bank since 1883. It's proud to be a supporter of your Salem Tigers with two locations in town. The Bank of Salem member, FDIC, an equal housing lender. Morrison on his way down, gets fouled in route, and he will shoot two. Salem has only shot one free throw in this game. And now Leo Peters gets his first foul, and Morrison, who has four points, goes to the line to shoot two. Raining threes here for the Fatima Comets in this third quarter. They've got four of them. Overall in the game, they have eight of them. Eight of their 61 point, 24, their 61 points, three pointers. Morrison hits them both. 61 24, our score, as Fatima has the ball in the Salem offensive zone, uh, defensive zone. Pass goes inside to Boyce. Boyce goes underneath to Robinson. Outside it goes to Brandt to Kleffner. Kleffner trying to dance his way in. Out to Versluz. Versluz down to Robertson. Outside it goes to Brandt. Nate Brandt to Kleffner. 123 to go. Kleffner in. Short jumper. Won't go. Tipped on the floor. Gets his own rebound. Kleffner going to Versluz. Down low to Robertson. Short jumper. It won't go. Morrison has it. He gives it off to Easton May. Off to Carmack. Now to Gunner Conkle across the, the floor. Conkle top of the key, right side pass to Carmack down from seven. The jumper trickles over the rim, no good. And Kleffner on the backside, trying to come down the other way, has it stolen away by Gunner Conkle. Conkle off to Carmack. Carmack under the basket, lays it in. 61 to 26, a 35 point lead. By Fatima. Bounce pass to Versluz. Thought about an NBA three. Instead, backs it out to Kleffner. Back to Versluz with 30 seconds to go. Back to Kleffner. Tigers are not anxious to go out that far near center court. Now Simpson does. Versluz trying to hand that ball off. Goes back court. Take it back to Versluz. 15 seconds. All the way down. Short jumper is good. Versluz having a good game here tonight. He has 18. Now Carmack, a long three at the buzzer. No good. And we have played three quarters here. 63 for Fatima and 26 for the Salem Tigers. We'll come back in a minute. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media. 
Common Crowns Bistro is open Monday through Saturday from 7 a.m. until 2 p.m., serving breakfast and lunch. And if you need somewhere to hold a meeting or get together, Common Grounds Bistro has rooms available. For takeout orders, call 729-2912. And did you know that Common Grounds Bistro can take care of all of your catering needs? If you'd like some more information, just stop by 300B South Main Street right here in Salem. Find Do It Right deals at K&H Auto Supply in Salem at 700 South Main Street, like Pure Guard Power Steering Fluid for only $3.99, Lucas Injector Cleaner 2 for $8, and Lucas Fuel Treatment for $10.99. K&H Auto Supply, your Park City Auto Parts store right here in Salem. Park City, yeah, Park City, Park City. Well, we're about ready to start the fourth quarter. This will be a running clock to start as there's over a 30-point lead. And so once they get started, unless there's a timeout or an injury, clock will continue to run. With a ball, it is versus, uh, it is the Comets. Ball tipped, it comes to Carter Karst. They've got the younger guys back in. Ball loose, taken away by Connell. Another steal for the Salem Tigers. Connell into the offensive zone. And Connell is fouled there by Levi Robertson. But the clock will continue to run. For Levi, his first foul. He had a great second quarter, scored seven points. Just a freshman. Conkle trying to get it in. Fires it out high to Smith. Goes left side to Easton May. May trying to dance his way in, and he'll be fouled. And suddenly, the Comets have four fouls. This one going to be called on Jacob Schulte, his first appearance in the game. So Conkle will try and inbound it. Again, they put a man in front of him. Conkle looking for some help. Goes back to Smith. Levi, right side pass to Easton May. Beyond three on top, Conkle. Gunner backs it out. Goes left side pass to Connell. Connell, thinking about driving in. Can't get cut off. Trying to bank it in. Won't go. Arts brings down the rebound. Puts it up and in. Josh Arts with a good rebound. He banks it in. And with six and a half to go, 63 to 28. Jack Robertson all the way down, scoops it up, misses the shot, brought down by Levi Smith. Smith for Salem, long pass to Easton May. May on the baseline. May trying to cut inside, gets tripped up. And are they going to call a foul or are they going to call a travel? And they are going to call the foul, and that's going to be on Jacob Schulte, his second. Conkle to inbound it. Ball tipped, stolen away, and here comes the Comets. All the way down, bounce pass down low, taken there by Robertson. That's Jack Robertson. Out on top, making his way in is Hewn Meyer. That shot won't go. Gets his own rebound, kicks it outside. With a ball right now, it is Jack Robertson to Hewn Meyer. Now to Carter Karst, and a foul called on Salem. Car shot would not go. And Gunnar Conkle will pick up his second foul. 5.20 to go. 63-28. Comets on top. Hugh Meyer in the corner. Out to Karst. Goes in the corner to Robertson. Out on top. Quick three up and good. By number 12. And that is Jacob Schulte. 66 to 28, a 38 point Fatima lead. Conkle, right side pass to Connell. Connell on a perimeter, stops, looking inside, goes left side to Conkle. Down low, back to May for a three. It's way short. Taken underneath by Karst. Karst the other way, down the middle of the floor. He's fouled there by Smith. Levi, his first foul, and a fifth team foul for Salem. With four and a half to go, Salem will fall to two and nine on the year, and they'll take on Waynesville tomorrow night at seven. Doesn't get any easier against those fly, high-flying Tigers. By Chris Pills, former Salem coach. So a lot of substitutions here. Blake Genghis comes in. The inbound pass, and 
Looks like a double dribble, but a foul called as well. So Carmack back in the game. It's his second foul, and it will put the Comets in the bonus on the next foul. Car straight to inbound it. Cars fires it out on top. All alone is Fortson for a three. It will not go. And Morrison back in the game pulls down the rebound to Carmack with May. Carmack off the glass. It's good. 3.40 to go. 66 to 30, our score. With that ball right now, it is Ty Fortson. Fortson at the perimeter and walks with the ball. Turnover number five for Fatima in this, the second quarter. Same with only three turnovers here in the second quarter, but they had 16 in that first, and the Comets took advantage of them. Here's Gunnar Cockle with 3.15 on the clock remaining in this ball game. Pass goes inside to Morrison, struggles with it, gets it back, and then is fouled as he goes up with it. Morrison, who weighs over 200 pounds, versus Levi Robinson, who weighs maybe 110. Guess what Robertson had to do? Got to try and tackle him and didn't work. And he and Ty Fortson couldn't make it happen. The free throw is no good by Morrison. He's got another one coming. And this one is good. He's got seven to lead all Tiger scorers in this game. With the ball's Fortson. Over to Genghis now back to Fortson, now back to Genghis. Long three, missed off line, taken there by Carmack on the rebound. Braden all the way down as a ball tipped away, stolen back, and here comes Fatima again. Underneath the basket, short jumper is good by Ty Fortson. 68 to 31, our score. Carmack top of the key, trying to find an opening, spins, turns, fadeaway jumper it is good. All pounded around, played like a pinball. Finally made its way down. He's got eight. But the Tigers trail it by 35. Ball in the corner. With it, there's Karst. Karst with a minute 50 to go. Out on top to Genkis. Genkis looking in. Nowhere to go. Goes to Robinson. Levi Robinson, the freshman. Cross it goes to Fortson. Fortson out beyond the three-point line now between the circles. Right side pass to Genkis. Genkis baseline goes inside to Levi, and Levi gets it back, but he's going to be called for travel. <laughs> Levi had to try and go over Morrison. You can't do that and try and carry the ball. He just couldn't get it done. And with a minute and 15 and counting, 68-33, and one of the fastest basketball games I can remember up here. It's going to take about an hour. Here's Simpson, right at the top of the key. Right side pass to May. May down low for Morrison all alone. He scores. He's got nine. The Tigers owe trailer by 33. The other way with that ball right now is Robertson out on top to Fort Sim. He gives it there to Schulte. Now a new player in, Carson Schulte in the game. He's a freshman as well. Now a three from the corner. It's off the rim. No good. Taken by Braden Carmack. With 35 seconds left. Carmack down to the paint. Stops underneath. Intended for Morrison. That's stolen away. And back comes the Comets. Ball down low to Fortson. His three-point effort by Schulte was partially blocked. And it will be long to Fatima. 15 seconds and counting. Fortson trying to get it in. 68-35 our score. Ball tipped. Stolen there by Easton May. Easton with six. Makes it. Nope. Can't get it in. Simpson with five seconds, can't get it in. Ball finally stolen away by Fatima, and that's going to do it. 68-35, to 35, the Fatima Comets beat the Salem Tigers. The Salem drops to 2-9 and nine on the season. We'll take a three-minute break, and we will come back with stats from this one. This is Tiger Basketball, and you're listening to it on KSMO Media. Are you thinking about a new home, commercial building, maybe room additions, or maybe you're looking for someone to do concrete work, siding, new tile, or install a wood floor? Then you need to call Conway Construction, LLC, at 247-6468. And by the way, did you know they're now doing custom skid steer work, custom bush hawking, and can handle all of your dump truck needs? Call Randy today at Conway Construction, LLC, at 247-6468. 
Reality check number 22. On a scale of 1 to 10, shouldn't customer service be an 11? At Town & Country Bank, we have a solution for that. Walk into any town and country, and you'll feel welcome right away. We're your neighbors. If you're a customer, we'll probably even call you by name. It's just what neighbors do. Town & Country Bank. Smart, friendly solutions. Member FDIC. Hi, this is Jack Lithicum, Director of Cardiopulmonary here at Salem Memorial District Hospital. Did you know that cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of mortality, accounting for more than 17 million deaths per year globally? This lethal disease continues to rise, and here at SMDH, we provide a wide variety of diagnostic testing to help prevent, diagnose, and treat this condition. Don't become a statistic. Stop by today and let us take care of you. The Salem Memorial District Hospital, every patient, every encounter, every time. We are Missouri Farm Bureau Insurance, and we're here for all of life's wins. Like when you get a new car, or a new boat, or a new driver, or when your son moves out, but your mom moves in, or you find out you're expecting, again, or when one rental property turns into two, then 20, or you realize they're all in Tornado Alley. Life is full of life events. Make sure you have the right policy for each of life's wins. A life event could qualify you for a discount. Call me, Willie Strader, your Missouri Farm Bureau Insurance agent, and we will make sure you have the coverage you need. Country Mart Pharmacy in Salem has three different types of flu shots. Flu Zone Quad is recommended for all ages. Flu Block Quad is recommended for 50 to 60 years of age. And Flu Zone High Dose is recommended for 65 years and over. There's no copay on Medicare and Medicaid, and some private insurance is accepted. The flu shots are administered by certified registered pharmacists. For more information about the flu shots, call Country Mart Pharmacy in Salem at 729-4091. In a world where everything is digital, your payments should be too. Time is precious. Digital payments provide a quick and simple way to make secure purchases. The Bank of Salem recognizes the need for digital payment convenience and is excited for you to enjoy a new way to pay. We now support Apple Pay, Google Pay, Fitbit, Garmin, and MasterPass. To enroll, call or stop by either Bank of Salem location today and let us help make your shopping experience easier. Message and data rates may apply. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Back St. James, Missouri. Stan Stevens with you here. Salem loses it 68-35, to and they fall to 2-9 and nine on the season. Uh, all Fatima on this one. They got to a 10-0 start, never looked back, led 18-4 after the first quarter, and the Tigers just never really got on track. They got out-rebounded this game 26-16, to and they got outscored big time 68-35. to Leading... In the game for the Fatima Comets was Lee Versluz. He had 17 points, 14 for Nate Brandt, 12 for Leo Peters, 9 for Cooper Kleffner, and then 7 for Levi Robinson. And a host of uh, other complimentary scorers, Jacob Schulte with 3, 2 for Ty Fortson, 2 for Jack Robertson, and 2 for Nate Lehman. Lehman had 8 rebounds in the game to lead Fatima, but doesn't do a lot of shooting. There were seven for Leo Peters, six for Nate Brandt, and two for Cooper Kleffner uh, amongst the leaders. Adam was one for one from the free throw line. That's it, one free throw on the game. They had 14 turnovers and 16 steals in the game. Nobody fouled out. Schulte and Lehman had two fouls each. For the Salem Tigers, leading scorer was Lucas Morrison with nine. Braden Carmack had eight, six for Ethan Simpson and ceased in May. Uh, two points each for Gunnar Conkle. Josh Arts and Garrett Connell. Connell led the Tigers in rebounding with five, four for Lucas Morrison, three for Josh Arts, two for Braden Carmack, and one for Levi Smith and Gunnar Conkle. Salem was three of five from the stripe, 22 turnovers in the game, and they had 11 steals, 16 rebounds, and they were out-rebounded by 10 by Fatima, 26 to 16. The Tigers will now take on Waynesville tomorrow night at seven in the second game of the night. And we'll try to bring it to you on KSMO Radio. And then we'll move into Blues Hockey, join in progress right after that game. Tigers lose it here in the first game of the St. James Tournament by a score of 68-35 to to Fatima. We're going to leave here at St. James and take you to the Missouri game. They take on South Carolina right here on KSMO Radio 1340. Again, Salem loses it 68-35. to For Jim back at the station, I'm Stan Stevens. We're going to leave St. James and we'll... 
join a Missouri game in progress right here at KSB Radio in just a couple minutes, so please stay with us. And good night from St. James. Napa Auto Parts Store in Salem has these New Year's sale items now on special, where you'll find diesel 911 fuel deicer for $7.99. Power service.